So what I'm going to show you today is how they figured out that Dalton's model was not complete. And it began with this thing called a Crookes tube. Has anyone seen a Crookes tube before? This is a Crookes tube. What it is is it's a tube of glass that's mostly evacuated, meaning most of the air is taken out of it. And it's got an electrode on this side and an electrode on that side. If you look on the inside of it, there's a white screen, and the white screen uh, is there for reasons I'll show you in a moment. This is a Tesla coil. Tesla coils generate lots of voltage. So right now there's a magnet inside of here that's spinning and it's got uh, some wires around that magnet. So it's generating a lot of uh, voltage as it spins because it's a strong magnet. In fact, if I hold another magnet up here, I can feel it vibrating from the spinning of the magnet. Kind of like your rumblers on your game controllers. And, uh, but this is generating a lot of electricity. You can see that if you hold it up to something metal. People always ask what will happen if you touch it, and the answer is you'll die. That's why I am now dead. <laughs> A little bit uncomfortable. But, in any case, uh, here's what happens when you hold it across a Crookes tube. Anybody see that? Can you see it over there on that side? Everybody see it? Pretty cool. Uh, I, I actually can't see it from my side, but I assume you're seeing a straight green line. Mostly. Why can't you see it? Because I'm looking from behind. That white screen's only on the front. It's set up to be viewed from one side only. All right. Now, this is kind of interesting. Watch this. <laughs> is anything happening? Yeah. What's happening? It's following the magnet. Huh? It's following the magnet. Reacting to the magnet, it's deflecting the magnet. Okay, so ew, that's kind of interesting. Keep that going. I got a uh, one other thing to uh, compare that to. I have a uh, light here. And I have, I'm going to pass this light, it's a, it's a laser light, it's a green laser light, I don't, can't, that, don't fail me, oh, there we go, see, you see that, uh, that laser light, you see it there? Mm -hmm. What will happen to it when I get it close to the magnet? Deflect. Deflect away, he says, he says, uh, okay. is it deflecting away? It has no effect on the magnet. The magnet has no effect on it. I can so why does some light get deflected by a magnet and some other light doesn't? Why is that? What's the primary difference? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? The answer is does anybody know what is different about that light from this light? Why are they different? What's one have that the other doesn't? High voltage. Uh, yes. The specific word we're looking for here. One's charged by electricity while another one's charged by a battery. Oh, batteries, uh, batteries are electricity. But you kind of got the right word there. 
charge is the key. It turns out that this light isn't charged at all, it's just light. This is obviously, it's charged because that's what magnets do, is they deflect charges. They'll either make things go towards them or away from them, depending on if it's plus or minus, or the north or south pole of the magnet. And so, what we have discovered here is that there's something going through here that is charged. Something's jumping out of this metal electrode into this metal electrode that is charged. And since these metal electrodes are made of atoms, then atoms must have something charged in them. And J.J. Thompson is a scientist on our paper that we researched. This is what he discovered. He discovered that these things, the atoms had these charges inside them called electrons. Those are actually electrons uh, going across there. And J.J. Thompson discovered them.